Hey everyone, so over the weekend I've put together a new cam design and this one is a single cam per axis instead of the dual cam and mostly why I want, the reason why I want to do this is because I wanted to reduce the number of parts uh, like the bearings and whatnot and I think it yeah I think it's a pretty good design um, the deflection on the axes here in on both axes is 10 millimeters and I'll just show you what that looks like over here so here's a side view of the roll axes and right here these lines these lines basically is that's 10 millimeters and I don't know if the deflection of 10 millimeters is good it's just seem like a good one right now but it could probably be changed the uh, over here on this side the cam side where it gets close to the pivot uh, it's extremely important to get this uh, this as good as you can because if this is off by like a tenth of a millimeter it's going to deflect a lot like it could deflect two centimeters or or five millimeters so it's important to get that the closer uh, it gets to the pivot because it just gets multiplied uh, maybe in the future, yeah, I don't know if there's any way around that, uh, but for 3D printing this, it's probably going to be accurate enough, but we'll see. Um, let's see what else here. The So on this one, I have uh, some holes and whatnot for just rubber bands from now, uh, just for the compression, just because I don't know how much compression I need for this thing. I don't know. Uh, from what it sounds like, I need probably 50 to 100 pounds for the springs. And yeah, I don't know if I can get that with the rubber bands, but at least for testing, it'll be good enough. Um, and then probably what I'll do is uh, either have two uh, tension springs on the, on the outside of each cam, or I might have a uh, compression spring in the center and then like have a like a hole where you can thread in and screw down and, and preload that to adjust uh, how strong it is. Um, what else here? Let's see. So yeah, so this design, it's assumed that you're gonna use Hall effect sensors. So you could either, you know, I was thinking putting a Hall effect sensor there and then one on this side, just because that has a lot more going on it. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. There's enough surface area on all these faces to you know figure out how you're going to mount those. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then like I don't know, maybe like you indent the uh, magnet in there. Maybe that's the best way to do it. Um, for the cams, I uh, I don't know if. I don't know how well this is going to hold up, so what I might do in the future is uh, CNC the cam shape, at least the center part where the bearing rolls on in aluminum, and then, yeah, I might, yeah, we'll see. But at least, I think in the beginning, uh, 3D printed plastic's probably good. The cams might actually be better to be done in uh, PLA because of how stiff it is. Uh, whereas most of the other parts I'm going to use PETG just because it's a little more stronger. Um, what else? The uh, Yeah, so the hole down here, that's a 7 millimeter hole and it comes down here and it comes out on an angle. So if I, uh, if I do like a kind of, kind of get in the center so uh, just cut the thing in two, there, so you can see see how it goes down. It's probably more than enough for whatever cable routing you want to do. And yeah, I'm just trying to think what else. Oh yeah, so the cam design. Let me let me get out of this. Let me go back over here. 
so the profile of this, I don't have like a, uh, I don't have like a defined center of this thing. So like if you're doing like micro adjustments, it's not really going to be, you're not going to hit that like center, like that center dead zone. And generally the way you, you figure out that shape is, uh, if you look at the uh, curve here, So your radius here. Um, so right now I have this thing double, so 20 millimeters, and that ball bearing is 10 millimeters. So the closer those are together, the sharper you're going to have that like dead zone. In my case, I don't want that at all, so I have it, uh, you know, larger, so it's going to be just very smooth. And yeah, the. Uh, the profile of this is it's kind of it's kind of a trial and error trying to get the shape. Uh, this curve along here is mostly just a linear. It's it has a 500 millimeter radius, but for all intents and purposes, it's like a linear kind of uh, curve here would be fine. And then this side, because of the way. Uh, the way it rotates to get mostly a linear curve, it's gonna have to have a bit of curve to that. And for now, this is just kind of eyeballed, but you know, probably in the future, I'll see if I can do some Python stuff to figure out how to make like custom profiles. And it's it's really about just trying to figure out what this curve is. Um, I think that's about it. Um, probably gonna have this. Uh, probably have the files on GitHub sometime. And I will likely print this out and do some testing first. And just because I'm I'm assuming I'm gonna have some, some issues with some of the things after I print it. And you know some parts not might not be strong enough and I might have to make them you know a little thicker and whatnot. And yeah I don't have a box design a CAD, but this uh, this top piece, like this is just kind of what holds this side and this side together. And, you know, there'd be an enclosure around this whole thing. Um, for the for the size of this thing, just for now, it's, so we got 127 millimeters on one side. It's 94. And for Roughly, let's see here, let's get, take that one. We got uh, 72, so you yeah, had probably 20 on that, so we're looking at like 90, just under 100 millimeters vertically. You just wanna have a bit of extra just because this whole thing is rotating around. So like, you know, when it's rotated to its, its limits, it's gonna, you know, you need that extra bit. Um, yeah, so that's all I got. Let me know what you think about this, and if you if you have experience doing this stuff, um, be great to reach out. Uh, some things I like to know is what do you guys think about the tension, uh, like spring compression, like how like uh, with like a fifty pound or a hundred pound, or or what are your thoughts on that? And uh, yeah, so I'll get the CAD stuff out here eventually, but in the meantime, I'll print this out and uh, keep you guys updated.